All right, guys, we start from the side. Let's open the door and here we are. Welcome to Kitty Jungle, Indonesia. <laughs> Good morning. Hi there. Wow. Prince Maximilian. Yes, I'm talking to you. And this princess back here. Alright guys, continue. Continue. Look at that beautiful eyes of you. Cutesy. Alright guys. Let's go. Alright guys, we start from the side. Let's open the door and here we are. Welcome to Kitty Jungle, Indonesia. Um, where do we start? Left or right? Maybe on the right first. I think someone would love to join us. Girl. Okay, let's her do her thing. The first plan in front of me, I think you all already know what it is. This is a Raphidophora tetrasperma. Some still call it mini monstera because it's indeed like uh, the mini version of the monstera borsigiana. Oops, I have to be careful here. Yeah, super beautiful, and here we are today, very tall. Then right next to it, this is Philodendron Lupinum. You all love the felt video on this. The back is reddish, uh, not reddish, it's purplish. Okay. This beautiful. It's finally going to attach itself on the wall, I think. Can you see that? Yeah, so beautiful. show you this one this is philodendron brantianum bought it on Tokpedia. um yeah just ask me if you want to know where this one's where i got this one i'm just i'll try to find it if i could i'm not always keeping track so yes beautiful it's already touched it up look at this it's so cute And right in front of the brand tea, we have none other than um, oh, it's that construction noise. No, this is um, Silver Lady, Cindapsus Victus, Silver Lady, beautiful. 
I just reported a couple days ago actually. Was it yesterday? No, a couple days ago. I do plan things every day. So this is the picture I took yesterday on Instagram. Um, the Antoria Magnificum. This is I took from a mother plant and then here we are today. I took it from, do you remember from the previous place where I leave? Let me show you the mother plant situation. Here we are, still alive. How are you? Oh, the cute. You're the cutest. Let me see that. Alright, back to the plant. This is a Anthurium bakery. You may see this plant on my last plant haul. Oh my goodness, this is the newest leaf. It's super long. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's turned out looking just like the Anthurium vitalifolium, really. You can't really tell the difference anymore when the leaves are long like this unless you know like this it's chubby when it becomes like this yeah and this is you remember my very iconic everyone's asked questions about it this is my um Philodendron Glorious, which is a hybrid between Philodendron Melanochrysum crossed with Philodendron Gloriosum. Yes, that's it. Very nice. Okay, let me. Here we go. Look at this now. I was. So I was planning to chop these plants right over there and then I was going to wait for um, that leaf to that leaf to mature enough and then it but it's kept growing. I haven't even cut it. Um, I don't know at one point I'm going to cut it. I may have to. Yeah, but it's looking nice and beautiful. I was actually very very nervous moving into this place because the last place was very much um, very much ideal for my plants and yeah I was super nervous it was kind of a stressful move but yeah it's life it had to be done but glad we are in this state right now so what else next this is Okay, shall we just go to this one? And this is a Philodendron Nangeri tens with the hairy back. If you can see, I, I'll try to zoom in. Which right there. It's hairy. Love it. pretty and fresh Nangur tans it sit on a metal plant stand just because I water these all the time so we cannot put any wooden or rattan plant stand which I have next to it Syngonium photophyllum alba Variegatum or Singanium photophyllum yellow variegated. That's the common name. It's all now just put out a green leaf. This is the thing with half, half moon, half like you know, Singonium. But you can see there's like um, here it's like yellow, half yellow, half green stems which is so cool i think i'm just gonna have to cut it where it is top being 
half moon that's why i read anyway yeah we'll see mm, this is synapses pick the silver cloud uh, looking all right i need to do something about it i guess it's getting very uh kind of out of hands which which is fine for me doesn't always have to be perfect And this is a cuttings of my Synapsus Pictus Exotica because it was in the corner over there and then it's neglected and got too much sunlight before I covered this space up just a couple days ago. And then this is the bottom cuttings and the rest still in water, haven't done anything about it yet. Philodendron Holtonianum, one leaf, doesn't do anything really. I have reported, I changed the potting medium already, but it's still in its original nursery pot, which is if you see any of these plants that are still in a nursery pot, it's either new or I just keep it in its original pot because that's the point about sustainability, isn't it? It's using whatever is available instead of buying new stuff that's i think that's part of being um aware trying to be as environmentally friendly as we could really yeah okay this yellow leaves are actually pretty massive it's really nice Uh, Kali, do you want to get in? I think Kali is for some reason just gonna get in. Oh, you guys, I just installed this covered, like, um, fully covered now about a couple days ago because I have to. Too many snails came in and eat my leaves, it's just frustrating. And I think I had it pretty under control since then. It's been a couple days and I see only like one that we're hiding i think and then that's it just yet hopefully it works anyway this is a syndapsus spa or it should be syndapsus pictus right and this is the snake scale the neon green one instead of silver this isn't looking the best but this is the best I can do. It's really difficult to keep these shingling plants alive. You know, I bought it for from my trusty uh, supplier. And as much as we we'll love to collect every single shingling plants out there, I try to get some that with roots, which is this has uh, little bit of roots already instead of just like a cutting I just really try to be careful if I buy these singling things um, yeah I'd rather buy something with roots already even just like it's one leaf anyway and this is my literally latest plant edition if you follow me on Instagram you've seen this before I think hopefully this is Synapsus pictus. Yeah, just bear with me. It's just based on my knowledge. But it should be Synapsus spa number 50. But because I'm sure, for now, solely based on physical characteristic only, it's a pictus. And I'm, ju I'm, I'm just gonna call it pictus for now. Can you see the texture? It's really hard to focus it's just because it's velvety like the texture is velvety it's also sparkly under the light the back also sparkly this one in particular i put it in and mounted on this piece of wood because when i got it a few days ago it's just flattened like this and i would love to hopefully start shingling also bear with me this is a plastic pot just because terracotta pot this can be heavy and i'm worried gonna just 
fall off, literally. That's the reason why I'm using the plastic pot, but also I'm trying to get the ones with a good quality so it can last longer. And also try to match the color still, the like brick, pale brick color. Anyway, back to the synapses. You can see the pattern. I'll compare it, uh, I guess right now, the one that I posted on Instagram. Right, this is pretty much the same plants. This is the only plant I got and then a couple of days later, I ordered this along with other four. So I have six pot of six specimens of this. Right, back, back here, safe and sound. Moving on, this is what's left of my alocasia, alocasia scrabius cola farigata, but the ID is still not confirmed yet, which is okay. Oh gosh, yeah, still pretty. It's still in its nursery pot because it's um, it's just fit for now i would love to move it to terracotta pot but we'll see for now it is what it is underneath this is anterium dorayaki if the id is incorrect please comment below feel free to do that i'll be happy to hear your thoughts and comments This is Anterium Dorayaki Silver. Here, this one grows faster actually. I think it's just naturally faster with the ones with less uh, variegation, silvers, and stuff, you know. But I guess they're perfect next to each other in these square green walls that I design inspiration from uh, architecture videos from Australian designer that's where I got the inspiration from it's still messy but we will get there it will it will always change things it will never be always like this I tell you you know me like I move around things all the time okay and behind it i have synapsis pictus i don't know what the id is and i don't remember giving this a number yet i think this is very similar with the silver hero but this has thinner leaves than silver hero slightly and it's actually a oh no this is different plant this is a bonus from a seller in java when i bought silver hero she's a really kind if i remember and i could find the seller i'll put it in the description it's quite humid inside here which is good and underneath this is syndapsis pictus argyreus really love it so pretty and this I'm sorry guys, if the order is all over the place, it's, yeah. After a while, it's really sweaty and heavy here. I, uh, this, let's start from 
You see the blue fern uh, down there? Yeah. That's a blue fern. And this is Philodendron Splendid. Doesn't really do much here. But I'm starting to see a new growth. I hope you can say. Oh yeah, right there. Yep. Did you see that? Yeah, that's a new growth. Doesn't really do much uh, until I put it here. And yeah, splendid. Still cute. Losing a lot of leaves, but I just, yeah, let him do his things, I guess. And on next to it, Philodendron Majestic, which is a hybrid between Philodendron and two of my most, uh, two of my favorite Philodendron. Um, Philodendron Vericosum crossed with Philodendron Soderoi. It's starting to attach itself onto the wall. this getting bigger I may have to cut it right there I would love to cut it actually and then have uh, an entirely new specimen which is all now have quite larger leaves and pretty packed because down here some of the leaves got eaten by uh, caterpillars so it's not looking the best but the top one two, three, four leaves, five. That's amazing. This is still newest leaf, you can see. Oh my goodness, can you see that? Holy. Okay, I'll try to zoom in guys for you. Look at this. It's like chocolatey, chocolatey red. Oh, my battery's gonna die, okay. So this section is almost done. It's just, this is the green, oh, it's living. I thought it's just gonna like dying. This is another singling synopsis I own. And this should be the green scale, I believe. Oh. No, 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 it's actually the tricolor, but the shingling one, I really thought it's, it's dead because did you, but did you see this? I haven't seen this because I don't want to think about it because it's kind of dying really. And it's really sad if it didn't make it, but oh my God, this is the first time I've seen the new growth right here. I don't want to touch it so precious little thing oh, I'm glad I'm actually install a cover for the entire place instead of just the top and you, you see that from my stories because these it got eaten by snails again or like caterpillar I would be so pissed you know I may have to move it up there somewhere just to be safe because there's might be snails still hiding somewhere in this area they're just really good at hiding themselves that's a good news just made my day yeah life is simple it's, it's simple to make me happy just get me new plants <laughs> and this is the the cutting of my Pilotron and Glorious, which is the clone from the mother plant right here. The famous one that I unboxed on my one of my video last year. 
yeah this is the cutting the top cuttings and it's doing all right I recently just moved it here from the kitchen actually can you, oh gosh can you see that I'm sorry guys right there just chilling I think it's really happy here just need to right looking gorgeous cute and happy I may sell it so stay tuned on my Instagram guys I might sell that one actually it's cute as well okay um, and this is kind of new still in its nursery pot I haven't reported this is the Pelodendron Pomani dark foam Yeah, Pilodendron Plomani Dark Form. Not the narrow form, you will see my narrow form up there later. And okay, this is the Synapse who's got eaten by snails. Synapse Spa number something. I'll put it on the screen. This is, I unboxed this one as well like three months ago or something. And this is the. Aglonema Pictum Tricolor. This one's is kind of stressed, I think. That's why I put in this, these flowers. I might have to chop it and then try to regrow the top part like I did with the bicolor. Alcacia Golden Bone. Let's see, let me show you the back. It's purple. Okay. Um, last two on this section is these uh, alocasia zebrina. It. Um, like, I think three months, no, four months ago. Yeah, and since then it's happy. The thing is with alocasia, you have to on top of your game when it's come to giving nutrition, change the soil, the potting mix, make sure it has enough, enough nutrition, otherwise it's, it's shrinking and it's getting smaller but look at this thing now the last time before i repotted it was three leaves left only and people seem to love about this dinosaur looking jurassic looking specimen which is alocasia tigrina a lot of people mistaken it's at three, three, trigina, trigina, but it's actually tigrina, like tiger. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the part two. Cheers from Bali, Indonesia. Bye.